Merry Christmas 2013 and my heartfelt wish for a very successful and prosperous 2014. I'm very excited today because I'm bringing you the show of our very successful Christmas giveaway. For those of you who are regular viewers of the show, you may know that Bluefield Freight and the Bear Pantry Show hosted a successful toy drive to help the less fortunate children of my home country, Belize. Now, Bluefield Freight is my dad's shipping company, and they not only paid for seven barrels of toys to go home to Belize, but my parents were also able to make the trip to Belize between December the 11th and December the 27th in order to distribute the toys. They were able to host two venues. Take a look at the first one. All right, so here's our first event. This took place on December the 19th, 2013, and my dad hosted this at his water company, Bell Aqua. It's located in Georgeville, Belize. He put out a one day notice because his workers told him that there was a great need in the village for the children to receive a toy. So he put out a one day notice. He handed out the little raffle cards and the kids showed up in droves. And it was raining all that day off and on. So they braved the weather and they came out and they were all ages from the smallest to about 10 years old. Look at this beautiful little girl getting her gift. And check out this little one. We didn't even see her in the line, right? Here she is receiving her little toy and walking away so excitedly and a small baby again. And then I want you guys to see this baby right here. He is seven years old and mentally and physically challenged. But if it were only for him that we did this drive, it would have been well worth it. Look at the smile on his face. What joy. This was a grand success in Georgeville, Belize. I'm so glad that we had enough toys that we were able to accommodate the children of Georgeville, Belize. It's my heart's desire that next year, Christmas 2014, when we do this giveaway again, that we'll be able to service them on a larger scale. Now take a look at the second venue that my mom and dad hosted in order to distribute the toys. My mom, Rosalie McNabb, she loves to have parties. She's a celebrator of life. She loves to be around people, good music, good food. And of course, she's gonna host a party for the children so that they can come out and enjoy good music and good food and also get a gift. So take a look at her party. Here it starts. Check it out. Good morning. <laughs> For my viewers that are not Belizean, do you guys like that music? That's the kind of music I grew up with in Belize for Christmas time. Now this party was so jam packed that my mom had to hire an actual police officer to make sure that no one else would crash the party. For the children's entertainment, my mom hired a clown and a face painter. Take a look at the kids in a long line waiting to get their face painted by the face painter. And my mom was able to serve a lot of wonderful snacks and of course my favorite snow cones. Come on children, come get some snow cones. Now mom really wanted to hire a Santa Claus, but because she got to Belize so late, it was kind of hard to plan everything. Plus it was raining, torrential rains from the 11th when she got there right through to the 20th and the party was gonna be on the 22nd. So she hired this wonderful young clown and the kids enjoyed him thoroughly. They didn't even notice the difference. And now here they are in a line waiting to get a balloon mill. Introducing my mom, Rosalie McNabb, and my dad, Denfield McNabb. All right, yes, Mr. Rosalie. Put your hands together for Mr. Rosalie and Mr. Denfield. Put your hands together. They are, they are responsible for this uh, last year, and um, their daughter lives in LA. She couldn't be here, but she sent her a lot of good news. All right, the bear, the bear pantry show. If you want to check it out, you go to youtube.com. This is, this is a record, right? Bear pantry. And of course, my mom doesn't do anything without involving someone there to pray over the festivities. So take a look at Mrs. Thompson saying the invocation. A very important part of any festivity, any festivity is to involve who? Is to involve who? 
God, alright? And once he is here, everything's gonna be fine. What's your name? And Miss Thompson, she's gonna do the honors here and heal God for us. Yeah, heal God as a God. Look up for the people of the Okay. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we all pray? Father, we just give you praise and thanks, Father God, for this day, Lord, that you have given us, God. Thank you, Lord, for the fine, beautiful weather, God, that it is raining today. And though it, we had the rain for so long, thank you for the rain too, Lord God. Father God, I ask Father God for this gathering that we are in, that Miss Bakab have put together with your help, Father God. Thank you, God, for it. And Lord God, I pray as my Father bless all that is and that will be done here, Father God, to rest of this day. For sweet as you are welcome here within our midst, please come and have your way. And Father God, we ask for your guidance, for your help, and for your blessing upon everyone and above all for Miss Makam and her family, God. Bless you, Father. And for all that have helped us put this party together, God, bless them, Father God. We thank you, God, and we just honor you and praise you because there is no other God like you. And without you, God, we are nothing. Thank you again for your presence here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Guardian newspaper was able to send out a young reporter in order to cover the festivities, and he took an opportunity to interview my mom. Take a look at this two-minute interview with my mom and the reporter. When my oldest daughter asked me, Mom, who can I tell? I said, Everybody. Yeah. She called her home, she called her daughter. And when people started calling me, I couldn't believe. I was so loved, and they prayed for me. And thank goodness, my husband had good insurance. I got help. And I got help. And oh my so God. I was done. I only heard him saying, People come to me. She can't even call me home today. But, you know, I was strong, and I said, uh, I was feeling good, I wasn't in Kamalism, but I made it. Now you're here and you get to yes. see all the smiles on Yes, the yes, I feel so hard when I do this for the kids and I, my daughter is coming with me this night. She has a show in the country show on, on the uh, internet. And a lot of people, they watching her and for the US, they contributed to this party. And me and my husband, uh, we three from Blue Today they will get and I have bought 100 tickets to our Toys for Boys and 100 for girls. And I think we have some little straightaway toys to get a ticket. And then um, they are receiving chips and dips. They have a piece of a half a sandwich, a cupcake, and a tart. No goods, soft and we have five door price 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 dollars that you can take it so they can buy the product. And I want to thank Joe Lawrence too for being Jane, me and my daughter Roger, who's helping me with the drinks, and all my other companies. <laughs> For those of you who may not know, my mom Rosalie fought and won stage 4 uterine cancer um, a little bit over a year ago and so that's what the first part of the interview was about and the rest of the interview of course was pertaining to the Bear Pantry show, the viewers and the subscribers of my show and Bluefield Freight that made this occasion possible for the children. I had to put some subtitles because the music outside was a little bit too loud. So now let's move on to the next section to where my mom actually is doing her raffle. She loves to have giveaways at her functions and at this function she gave away five prizes. There was $10, uh, 15, 20, 25, and the grand prize was $30. So I put a little bit of that in there for you to see. And these people were so happy to win the prize. Hey. And last prize, $30. All right, we have a winner right there with the little baby. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to see the children receive their gifts. My mom separated the barrels, boys and girls accordingly, and she gave age appropriate gifts to all the children. Take a look. I've sped up the clip and I'm going to show some pictures at the end and I'm going to put all the credits at the end to give thanks to everyone who gave to this occasion. Okay. I want to thank you guys again and wish you a very prosperous new year. Thank you.